Hi, everybody. It's Sandra. Thank you for joining me today. We're going to have a look at my most recent eBay sales. They are about $5,400, $5,500, something like that. I've been selling on eBay since 1998. I only do it part time. This video is going to be very, very jewelry heavy as usual. If anybody watching this video bought any of these items, thank you kindly. I appreciate the support very much. Please consider subscribing to this channel. It really would help me out a lot. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I'll be right back. I got a lot of this jewelry at auctions as part of larger lots. Now, accounting wise, there's two different ways that you could look at it. One way would be if you bought 100 items for $100, you could say that you paid a dollar an item. I actually don't do it that way because I find when I pay $100 for 100 items, some of those items are no good, some are broken, some I throw away, some I donate. So the way I do it is I recoup my $100 and then Everything over that is pure profit or gravy. And I say that is in the money. That's how I do it. Your mileage may vary on that, but I just wanted to point that out. I got these items as part of an auction lot that I am not in the money on, not at all, but I will be. I will be soon. Now, these three things are magnetic and they go into a piece of jewelry, probably, I think, a pendant as part of a necklace. I don't think these are for a ring. I could be wrong about that, but that's what I think it is. So they're inserts and you can see there, there's a sliver moon and an R and that is for Relios. That's the name of the company. And then it says 925, which is of course 92.5% silver or uh, also called sterling silver. And on the left there, I don't know if you can see that it says CP. It's very stylized. It's sort of hard to read. That stands for Carolyn Pollock. So two of these are sterling, that first one, this one, this one is brass. There's the size. So you would need the part that this goes into, of course. Uh, I lotted these three together. They are very pretty. They look like they're brand new, never used, sold the three of these together as a lot for 60. I found these earrings in a thrift store. They were a dollar. I knew that they were special. They felt special to me. I couldn't see what the mark was. They certainly looked like real gold and real diamonds. They are sterling silver and 18 karat gold. How pretty are those? Check that out. Now, when I got home and I looked at it, uh, that's a terrible picture of a signature. Let's see if I have a better one. There it is. So it says Bixby right there, which is for Barbara Bixby. And then it says 925 and 18 karat. They also test out as real diamonds. Pretty incredible. I sold these right away. I think I did underprice them a little bit. And that price completely works for me. Wouldn't you think? Paid a dollar for these in a little thrift store. Sold them for 900 I love finding Barbara Bixby stuff. It's a great thing to look out for. Beautiful items. This beautiful little pin is part of an auction haul. I am in the money on that auction haul. So this one is pure profit. This is reverse painted. It is glass, not plastic. I love that rose. That's just beautiful. Look at all the different color rhinestones going around the frame. There's a rose and then a couple littler flowers there, the white ones. That's what the back looks like. Plenty of age on this. Sold this one for 23. Here's another bit of reverse carved glass. This is sometimes referred to as goofus glass. According to Wikipedia, it shouldn't really apply to jewelry, but people use that term and I do as well. This is gorgeous. Basket of flowers, beautifully painted. There's the back. This one sold for $27. This came from the same auction from the same lot. I'm thinking that this came from a collector who collected them because there were maybe 30 or 35 reverse painted little pins like this. Very pretty. I believe these earrings came from that same auction. I believe I'm in the money on that. Who else loves Amber? Not only is this amber beautiful in these earrings, 
but there's a lot of silver here also, sterling silver. I put the weight, amber is very light, but I wanted to show the weight so that somebody could see there is quite a bit of silver here as well. Wow, very interesting. Sold these for 40. I believe I got this Victorian morning bracelet from two jewelry boxes that I bought. And my mother and I had so much fun going through it. We did a video on it. I can put it in the description if anybody would like to watch that video. And we made a bunch of money on that lot. What I really think is special about this is, well, it's been worn a lot. Look at the wear on the inside. I think that's very charming. But the enameling is almost perfect. Somebody was very, very careful with this. I love the etching. I love the color. I love the feel of this. Great item. Completely in the profit. Put this one up for $99. Sold it right away. This is quite an interesting antique necklace. Those are real little scarabs. Those are real little insects. Look at the iridescence. These sell in the $1,000 range. I took an offer for much, much less, just a little bit under $500. So interesting. I know items like this give people the creeps, but I think it's very interesting. Now, I got this at an auction. I paid $100 for it. And I did give the guy a little something because he sold it to me um, after the auction. So great profit on that. Sold it for a little bit less than 500, paid 100. I buy sheets and pillowcases sometimes if they're new and in the package. Laura Ashley seems to sell well for me. I believe I paid $5 for these in a thrift store, maybe as much as seven. I don't think anything more than that. So there's the bed skirt, the sheet set, and I think that's two pillowcases. This is such a classic look. I love the blue and white little floral. Isn't that pretty? I sold those for $59. i have been getting so much jewelry lately that I've been selling a lot of it on YouTube. This came from a lot that I did sell on YouTube. And for whatever reason, nobody wanted this little thing. It looks like Nikki Butler. I don't think it is. It wasn't signed. I think it's amazing. I love the colors. I think this is new and unworn, too. I don't think I wrote that because I can't prove it. But it didn't seem to have much wear, if any at all. Nice big size, too, a size 8. I put this one up. It sold right away, too. I did $40 or best offer, and I accepted a best offer of $35 on this very beautiful sterling silver ring. This is a very bold statement necklace. It was nice and heavy, all natural stones. I'm not sure what those stones are. I found a similar one. Somebody had theirs up for 100 I think, and they called their soda light. And then maybe someone else said, I found another one that said Jasper, maybe. I think so. Sterling silver findings. I'm not sure what it is. I don't care what it is. Very beautiful. Very interesting natural stone discs. Sold this one for 40 I sold this ring for $50. I'm definitely in the money on this big lot. This was a sterling silver ring lot. I think I sold them on my YouTube channel, most of them. I love the workmanship on this. Lots of sterling. Beautiful piece of turquoise. Now, this one is signed JP. It's sort of hard to see, but that actually stands for Pacific Jewelry Company. I know, it kind of doesn't make sense, does it? <laughs> size a little bit less than a five, a small size. I love it. So this one for 50 completely in the profit. I love buying, wearing, and selling these 1960s, 1970s flower power brooches. This one is fantastic. This is different. I've never seen one with the centers like that. This one looks like candy. I love the colors. Didn't sell for the big bucks, did it? But these little amounts add up. This was part of an auction lot. I am in the profit on that auction. 
Pretty cool. Sold that one for 13. Here is a groovy 1960s bracelet. This is confetti lucite. Some people also call this glitter lucite. Probably more accurately, I believe that is glitter in there. And there's the back of it. It's in nice condition, just about eight inches or so. And there it is on the wrist. I love how massive it is. This isn't just a delicate little thing. Awesome statement bracelet. Sold this one for 18. This was part of an auction lot where I did already make all my money back. I have a pretty large collection of Coro jewelry. I do love finding it. I love the shade of blue. Shades of blue, I should say. Check out that brooch. There's the signature and script right there on the left. I think these earrings are a little bit older. I don't think they went together as a set, but they did go together, I felt. You could wear them together. They would look fantastic. Got these, I think, in kind of a junky jewelry lot, as I recall. Definitely made my money back. These are not junk. These are gorgeous. Love collecting Coro. Sold the brooch and the earrings for 20 Oh, baby, would you look at this fantastic bracelet. I love these antique Chinese export bracelets. This is maybe the third or fourth one I've had. Fantastic high set carnelian cabochon. Look at the enameled butterflies. Unbelievable. I found this at an auction as part of a lot, and I knew I had to have it. These sell very, very well for me. Now, I had this one up for $375 for a while. I think it says silver right there. Um, I had this one up for $375 for quite a while. And somebody reached out and offered me $220, which I took. Now, if I really wanted my price, I could have gotten it if I wanted to wait longer. And I didn't because I had some bills to pay. So I took a best offer on this fantastic bracelet for $220, completely in the money. So pure profit. Check out this fun 1970s wall hanging. How fun is this? It just really reminds me of a bachelor pad. Very cool. It's actually great. The rich colors in it and everything. Kind of kitschy and fun, though. Found this, I think, for a dollar or two at a yard sale. Sold it for 15 I found this necklace in a thrift store for a dollar or two. I had a hunch that it was Bakelite, and then I got it home and I tested it, and it was. How fantastic is that? I love the length. Very interesting yellow and brown marbleized pattern on this. Wow, this is great. And it's kind of easy to find because people at their yard sales or in thrift stores just make the assumption that they're plastic. This one was not. And I could kind of feel it when I picked it up. It felt sort of heavy to be any other kind of plastic other than Bakelite. It's a beautiful thing. I did end up taking a best offer on this, though. Still a great profit. Paid a dollar or two in a thrift store. Took a best offer of 70. A few years ago, I bought a very, very large collection of fabric. I think I paid $600 for the whole collection. I think I made my money back by 10 times or more. I had held these back for myself because I wanted to make a quilt, which is just dumb. I have no time and I don't know how to sew and I don't have a sewing machine. But I did hold back some of my favorites for that purpose. I actually had them in the attic and I forgot about them. So I lotted all of these together and I am completely in the money on this fabric. Got $19 for this whole lot. I got this amazing 14 karat gold amethyst teardrop pendant at the same thrift store where I got that Bakelite necklace. I believe this was... Um, two dollars or maybe a dollar and i put it on this chain that i had that i had gotten at a yard sale a 14 karat gold chain and people kept really lowballing me and i wasn't going to budge too much on this price because it's 14 karat gold where else are you going to get a 
necklace like that, 14 karat gold, and then this massive 14 karat gold and amethyst pendant. And it was sort of interesting because somebody reached out and said, I don't want the necklace. I just really want that pendant. And I'll give you $100 for it. I very, very gladly took that. And now I have the necklace, which I can use with something else. Paid a dollar or two, fantastic profit, sold just that pendant. It's an amazing one, though, for 100 What do you think about this troll vase? Isn't it something? <laughs> it's weird and fantastic. I love it. I almost kept this one. So cute. It was in great condition. There is a factory flaw. I don't remember now where I saw it. There it is. See, it's like the glaze rolled away from the bisque a little bit. Well, I got this one in a thrift store. I paid a dollar for it. I wasn't hoping that it was worth 10. I was hoping that it was worth 50 or more. When I got it home and I found out it was probably only going to sell for 10, I decided that I would list it anyhow, because why would I want to just throw $10 away? Pretty easy to ship too, because it wasn't very big. It was breakable though, but not bad. 10 times my money, paid a dollar, sold it for 10. He's really a cute little troll. This is such a good sterling silver ring. Look at the flower design. This was nice and wide. I love the details. Beautiful repose work. That's great. I almost kept this, but I have so many here. Can you see that? I have so many rings. And I did get this as part of a lot. I think, look at that. Wow, four and a half grams of silver. I think that I had this on a YouTube video, I'm pretty sure. And uh, it didn't sell for some reason. I don't know why. To me, it was one of the best rings that I had. But anyway, I put it on my eBay page and I sold it for $39, completely in the money for sure on that sterling silver ring lot that I got at an auction. Great price. There's a thrift store that I've been going to for a long time. And if they get gold, they will keep it for me. And that's where I got this bracelet. This seems very interesting and very intricate and difficult to manufacture, maybe. I don't know. It's 14 karat gold and it says best friend on it. And then there's hearts. It was very hard to get a good picture of it. It's a pretty little bracelet, isn't it? I loved it. So she charged me $20 for it. She was very well aware that it was 14 karat gold and I was able to flip it, sell it on my eBay page for 84 I got this crazy brooch at a yard sale for a dollar. How fun is that bunny? I love everything about this. It was signed WAC. I had never seen that before, so I'm not exactly sure who it is. Nice and big. I love the spring colors. I call this a jelly belly. Technically, it is not a jelly belly, but it is kind of an acceptable colloquialism, I guess you could say. A lot of people call these jelly bellies. That is a stone in its belly, and it is plastic, just not clear, so not quite. Very cute item, though. Paid a dollar for it, sold it for 19 I really enjoy buying craft items. I can't do any crafts, but I wish I could. Maybe that's why I'm kind of attracted to them. This is a rug kit. It's by Bernat. I know that's a good name brand for sure. This made a nice big rug too. I love it. 39 inches in diameter from 1976. Okay. I couldn't find one like it, but I could see it was $130 at Caldor. It has all the stuff. There's all the yarn. I found this at a yard sale. It was actually $5. It was new and sealed too. Got $70 for this on eBay. And the lady wrote me a very nice note and said that she had this when she was younger. She had been looking for it for a long time. She found it and she's going to make it and keep it kind of a nice memory for somebody. So I'm glad she got it. I found these earrings at a yard sale for a dollar. I actually found two other pieces of gold there as well. These earrings are gold and diamond, and I can sell them 
at a very low price, like 125 since I only paid a dollar for them. So somebody got a bargain and a half. That's a fantastic price for these. Almost three grams. How beautiful are those? Not plated, solid 14 karat gold and diamonds. There's the mark right there. Kind of can't see it, but you could if you looked at it on your computer. Lucky finds. I got these over the summer. Paid a dollar. They were maybe two now that I'm thinking of it. Not that that matters. Still very, very inexpensive. Sold these for $125. I got this amazing Chinese silk pillowcase at a yard sale. I actually got two of them. They were a dollar each. I don't think this is hand done. I think this might be machine done. 18 inches square. There's the buttons right there. So you can put the, the pillow in there. I did buy two. I paid a dollar each and I sold them for $18 each. And at the same yard sale, I got this pillowcase too. But there were two of these as well. So I sold both of these for $18 each. I think. I don't think I did a best offer on these. What was so amazing is, well, the graphics, how awesome is that? The colors, very vibrant, but they seem like they were brand new and never used. So that's really what was the most amazing part. Good profit on those. Sold all four of them for $18 each. Gosh, I have a lot of cufflinks and I'm trying to sell them. I've been selling them in lots. These I sold separately because they're 10 karat gold in the front. Pretty cheap price, I thought, too, but I do have so many of them. I'm really trying to step up my sales on these because I have so many of them. They're taking up a lot of room. Didn't pay a lot for them. I believe I paid $90 for a giant lot of them at an auction. They're mostly from the 1920s. These probably are as well, but pretty nice that they're solid 10 karat gold on the front. Sold these for only $36. If you don't know this, I'm going to tell you that Trafari is a great name to look for when you're looking through old jewelry. There is some Trafari that's sort of plain that doesn't sell for much. This necklace is special. It's a knockout. You need to wear your sunglasses. It's very, very sparkly. There is a problem here. You see, I, I wrote read. It was missing some stones. There's the signature. Wow. I believe it was missing three stones and I took very good pictures. There's one. See, it's on the bottom, the leaf underneath the flower. And there's another one kind of to the to the left of that flower. And there's another missing stone. These should be pretty standard sizes, but you certainly couldn't tell. Look at that. I don't think it was very noticeable at all. And somebody who is clever, because that one is missing right in front, could take one from the back and glue it there. This was a yard sale fine, but one from quite a while ago, I wouldn't have paid more than a dollar or two for this at a yard sale. Sold it for 125 even with those missing stones. Such a fantastic item. I think I did an auction on this. Yes, I did. And I only got one bid, which was sort of surprising. I think this was called Contessa. I wasn't sure about that, which I think I wrote in the description. I know the Trafari experts know all about this stuff. Very happy with that profit for sure. Dollar or two, sold it for 125 I got this Monet brooch at a store that is sort of one of those closeout store type of things. I probably paid about $15 for it or so. I'm surprised I didn't put the measurement. This was actually a very large brooch. These are called snowflake brooches. Some people call them starburst, it's kind of interchangeable. Great piece, brand new. It's a Monet, but it is a newer Monet. Beautiful item. I think I paid about 15 for it, maybe 12, and sold it for 15. I felt that this antique necklace was an unsigned peruzzi. I've had this before, not this exact one, but very, very similar ones. It did test for 800 silver. I love how old it is and how old fashioned it is. 
this is a fantastic necklace. It would also look great layered with another necklace too. This was at an auction lot. I think the people didn't know that it was real silver. I also don't think they knew it was per Peruzzi and how special it is in general. Definitely in the money on that auction lot. Sold this one for 40. I got this Leah Stein item from a woman who was selling out her collection. It was her own private collection. Things seemed like they were barely worn. This is part of the famous Fox collection by Leah Stein. So fantastic. What a great rich purple color. This is plastic. But it's very creative. It's very interesting. I like the pattern. And there's the signature, Leah Stein Paris. I understand that they do knockoffs too, but this is absolutely guaranteed to be genuine because I know the woman that sold it to me sold this one for $99 completely in the profit on the entire Leah Stein collection I have. And I still have probably 15 items left to sell. A lot of people collect Sarah Coventry jewelry. I love it. This is probably some of the prettiest I had seen. Check out those rhinestones. Definitely made to look like real diamonds. I love the swirls. And it also came with a matching bracelet. I think I got this at a yard sale, I think. I may have paid as much, uh, maybe as much as 10 for the set. I ended up taking a best offer on this. I think uh, for $37, I'm sort of surprised it wasn't worth more than that. Fantastic condition. Love Sarah Coventry stuff, but not a bad profit. I'll take it. I got this sterling silver bracelet at the same thrift store where I got the best friend's 14 karat gold bracelet. She had saved this one for me. She charged me $8 for it. I thought it was amazing. It didn't sell for quite a while. I kind of didn't really understand it. It's very, very cool. It was also very heavy. Very heavy. 36 grams of sterling. Lots of movement. I thought it was very, very different. I took a best offer. Maybe I should have held out for more money. Not sure. I sold this sterling silver bracelet, very heavy, very cool, for 60 I think this item may have been a yard sale find. I can't remember. If so, I would have paid a dollar or two for it. I love Scandinavian jewelry. It's pretty easy to spot. Look how modernist that is. This is pewter. And it says E-H right there. How do you say that? Even Hillestad. Norway, is that correct? Not sure, but I do love this. Now, I started this one at $15.99, and I ran an auction on it, and I figured, let the marketplace decide what it's worth, and the marketplace decided it was worth $16.50, so not a bad profit. A little bit surprised it didn't go higher than that. It's a very, very cool item. Look at this fabulous vintage Demi. I love the stones. They're glass. Look at the shape of the yellow. They almost look heart-shaped. Another one uh, that's very chunky and cool. Look how big it is. I loved this. I believe this came as part of a lot, kind of a junky lot. And, uh, oh, also the matching earrings. Check that out. That's really a great set. Sold that for $25, pure profit. I found this item at an auction. This was not part of a box lot. The auctioneer was actually clever enough to have picked it out from some jewelry that somebody brought to him. And this was put up for auction separately. I figured, looking around at a room full of older guys, and an auction that kind of sells things like old gas cans and metal signs and stuff like that, that nobody was going to be too hip to how special this is. But there was a woman there who was. I got into a pretty big bidding war with her. I had to bid $165 for this little thing to win it. 
this is a special piece. It's missing the stone right there, which hurt the price terribly. Wow, that's incredible. This item is signed Trafari. Let's see if we can find the signature. There it is, Crown Trafari with a copyright symbol. This was designed by their star designer, Alfred Philippe. It was part of their mogul collection. People collect birds like crazy. I thought it was amazing. I paid $165 for it. I had this one up for a while, maybe two months or something like that. I had up for $400, a best offer, and somebody offered me $300 for it. So I took it. I doubled my money. If it had that stone, I probably could have gotten more for it. This is truly a Trafari A-lister. I love flower jewelry. I especially love baskets of flowers jewelry. This one is another Trafari. This was a yard sale find from a while back. It was $1. It's incredible. There's the Mark Crown Trafari with the copyright symbol. I think that dates it from 1955 to 1969. I'll put, I'll put it on the screen if I'm incorrect, but I think that is correct. I tried to look it up to see what others were selling for, and I couldn't find any that were in all white at the time I listed this. I had seen some that were multicolored flowers. So this one maybe was a little more special because it was all white. I loved it, paid a dollar for it, sold it for 61 I love this brooch so much. I paid up for this. I bought it at an antique mall. I think I paid 20 or $25 for it. I wore it a few times. I love it. I love the colors. I love the look of this very, very old jewelry. Fantastic. It's got a new owner now. Didn't make much money on it. Pretty thing, though. Look at this great lacquerware brooch all hand painted that's such a good santa and there's the the tag the label i don't know how you say that g de, de brecht made in russia not that old you can see they have their website right there it's in great condition wow those look like chips that's just the reflection no that all looks like chips well it wasn't it was in almost perfect condition i found this in a thrift store for $2, sold it for $25. These earrings are by LaRue. I don't usually see that name too much. That's a great pair of earrings. Look at the colors. Called Snowflake or Starburst. That's so good. In nice condition, gently handled. Paid a dollar for these. I believe they were. A thrift store find sold them for 20. I tried researching this ring. I got this as part of the lot. I've already shown you a few rings from it. The, it's the one where I told you that I sold a lot of the jewelry on my YouTube channel. This one is 10 karat gold and sterling. It's called a storyteller ring. There's a donkey. That's maybe a plant. There's somebody wearing a sombrero having a siesta. There's a cactus, another cactus. Fantastic. I was hoping I could figure out who the maker was. I thought maybe that was the maker, L-A-T-A, -A, but I believe that said plata, which is silver in Spanish. But that other thing that's underneath there, those symbols sort of, I'm sure this was some somebody I mean, of course, somebody made it, but you know what I mean? I wasn't sure if it was somebody important or this was going to be a very valuable thing. I wasn't really quite sure what to do. I just decided to put it up for $100 or best offer. I did accept a best offer on this ring of $70, I think. So this was a lot that I am in the profit on already, pure profit. Very cool item. I hope it is somebody important. I hope whoever got it got a real bargain. It's a very cool ring. This necklace was a thrift store find. I think I paid two or three for it. It's pretty interesting. Look at the hula girl. Her hula skirt is chains, so it's sort of shimmied around. This is Lucky Brands. There's a guitar pick. It's a lot of neat stuff on this. 
guitar, cool item. Not a bad profit, right? Paid three, sold it for 23. I love sweetheart bracelets from the 1940s, especially these expandable ones. This was amazing. I am in the money on this auction lot. But this sold within minutes of me putting it up. It was kind of severely underpriced. It is signed CoStar. And interestingly, I didn't see that it said silver, but other people had theirs up and it was silver. Well, obviously, gold wash. You can see some of the gold is missing there, which I, I love. I love when jewelry is old and it looks old. Such a pretty heart. There it is, CoStar right there. Absolutely adorable item. Sold that one, probably too low. Got 40 bucks for it. Still a great profit. I paid a dollar for this little monkey at a yard sale. I could tell it was old, not in great condition. It kind of cool, lenticular eyes. Lots of wear. Look at the hat. Plastic and cloth. It looked like somebody's dog got to it. Look at the shoes. <laughs> They're a little bit chewed up. Well, not great. It would have been worth more money if it was in better condition, but I paid a dollar for it. So not too bad. Sold it for 15. Pretty cool item from the 1940s. Many, many years ago, probably in the late 1990s, I was at a yard sale and this guy had an entire box of these Beach Boys play tapes, all new and sealed. It was crazy even then because this is a valuable thing. Now, a play tape is a certain type of tape. It's not a cassette. It's not an eight track. It looks like an eight track, but it's much, much smaller. You have to have the play tape music machine to play this. And it was something that really didn't catch on. So these are very rare. There's a picture of the back. I had two of these up for sale. I had them up for $75 each. And somebody said, I'll give you a hundred bucks for both of them, which I gladly accepted. I had sold probably 25 of these in the past, and I had just, for some reason, I don't know why I held back two for myself, but I didn't really need them. That's why I sold them. Completely in the money, for sure, on this whole box of old play tapes. Made $100 on these. Here's a very interesting freshwater pearl necklace. These are called coin pearls. So the irritant that they put in the mollusk is flat like this and sort of large. And then the mollusk builds the nacre over it. They're all very different. Certainly not man-made. Pretty cool. I think this was part of an auction lot that I am in the profit on. Sold this necklace for 15. Here is yet another amazing Trafari item. I had had this one for a while. This Sold for $130. I did this one as an auction. I started the auction at $39.99. I had seen these kind of often, well, maybe not often, but more often in gold tone. This one is silver tone. Brushed silver tone. Beautiful little pearl flowers. Clearly signed. Let's see if we can find the, the signature. Oh, there's a signature. Well, that little thing is for Trafari. The reason that they use that sometimes is because it might be difficult to put on the piece, but there it is anyway, right on that finding. But that's good to know, I think, that that little thing, it's sort of shaped like a T with a crown. Paid a dollar or two for this a long time ago, though, sold it very happily for $130. I've had this item for a very long time. This is sterling silver. I love the modernist look of this. This is a nice big item. I never wore it. I bought it from somebody who used to have a store in Arizona. I bought their entire store, <laughs> their whole collection, actually. Some nice weight, eight grams. Sterling silver. Neat item. Definitely in the money on that collection by a lot. Sold this for $23, pure profit. I was at a yard sale over the summer, and this guy had a whole stack of these bass guitar strings sitting on a table. I couldn't believe it. 
I'm always interested in buying strings, guitar strings, uh, bass strings too. But these were neon. How cool is that? So this would glow with a black light. They had yellow ones and orange ones. I bought the whole stack. I think I sold either 15 or 20 boxes this time around. A lot of people were asking a lot more money. I tried to also, and I couldn't get the price. And I had so many of them. I figured if I sold them at $10 each, that'd be a fantastic profit, which it is since I paid a dollar each. Great profit, sold many of them. And I think I might have a couple more boxes of them. I have to check. Cool items though. At that same sale where I bought those guitar strings, I bought this lipstick holder. This is 800 silver. Very surprised it's not worth more. I think it's sort of sad in a way. Solid 800 silver. Great condition. There's a little mirror right there. It's marked 800. Beautifully etched. I think I either paid $3 for this, maybe even $5 for this. Sold it for $32. I have sold Honora pearls many, many times before. They're always good for $15, $20, $25, depending. They can go up from there, too. These are fresh water. They're dyed. It's great. They have their little pouch. They have to come in a pouch because pearls are very scratchable. About 18 inches long. Aren't those pretty? I think these were part of a lot that I am in the profit on. Sold these for 15. I paid probably a dollar each for these Trafari brooches through the years. I don't know why I put such a cheap price on these. I guess I lost my mind for a minute. I did buy it now. $40. For this, for everything, for the whole lot. I sold them right away, too. You think? Probably underpriced them a little bit, but that's okay. Paid a dollar each. So there are six of them there. $40. Very good profit. Here's some amazing 1920s cufflinks from that same $90 cufflink lot. I lotted four pair together for $22. Gosh, that's low, isn't it? Those are neat. I like the blue and green ones, especially. A couple of different types there, the come aparts and then snap link. I've seen both of those many, many times before. It's not the name brand of the cuff link itself. It's the name of, I guess, the patented technology to take them apart and put them back together. In the profit, sold all four pair of those for 22. I found these earrings in a thrift store. They were $2. Right away, I could tell they were quality. As soon as I picked them up, nice and heavy. Look at that. Almost 40 grams. Wow. They're clip-ons. So cool. These could be from the 1980s. They look it, don't they? And there's the logo and the signature in there. Givenchy. One of my good friends pronounced them Givinci once she said she she's talking to her boss and she said that and her boss corrected her anyway kind of embarrassing but I believe it's pronounced Givenchy could be wrong sold these for thirty six dollars I believe I paid two dollars for these in a thrift store Juicy Couture is a name brand I pick up when I see it I had a bunch of it and I had sold a lot of it a while back and I had a few more pieces of it so I put them all up. And I think they all sold to the same person. May have been a YouTube friend too. If so, thank you. And thank you again if anybody watching bought any of these items. It's very, very nice of you. And it's very much appreciated. Now, I bought this at a yard sale. I probably paid $5 for it. Can't remember. Not a bad profit though. Sold this one for 18 And let's see the next one. This is very nice. And it came in the original box, which is great. Now, Juicy sells a lot of, or sold, I think they're still in business, right? They sold charms for these that you would clip on. I know I've sold some of the charms in the past. I think I had the pizza and I can't remember, but I know, I, I know I've know i sold them before. Probably paid $5 for this one too, sold it for 20 I took a best offer on this Juicy bracelet. I think I sold it for 11 
And that's it. Now I don't have any more Juicy Couture. If I find more, I will buy it for sure. Sometimes I sell it individually. Sometimes I lot it up. Great items to look out for. Always sell very well. This is a great old United States Navy bracelet. In nice condition, too. This one is marked W asterisk F. I don't know who that is. I guess I would have written it in the description if I figured it out, but either I didn't look it up or I couldn't find it. It's additionally marked 140th 10 carat RGP. That stands for roll gold plate. Now the fraction 140th means that it's guaranteed that the weight of the metal on this piece to be 140th 10 carat gold. A pretty item. I think I underpriced this. It sold within minutes. This came as part of an auction lot. So Pure Profit sold this one for 15. Neat item. I like to buy Juicy Couture. I also like to buy Brighton when I find it. This was in nice condition. Very pretty hammered gold tone. There it is on the wrist. Tough to get good pictures of this, but it was good. There's what the signature looks like for Brighton. I believe this was a find from a thrift store. I think I paid $2 for it, sold it for $18. I love finding this name brand. This is a fantastic 36-inch long necklace. There's a crystal. There's the Yves Saint Laurent uh, logos. This, I think, is circa 1980s. Excellent condition. That's a neat piece. There's a very hot market right now for this name brand. I got this as part of an auction lot. So I am in the profit on that. And I took a best offer on this, sold it for 148 When I listed this Trafari butterfly, I accidentally put accepts best offer, which I didn't want to do. $20 is very inexpensive for this. And people kept sending me offers for like $6 and stuff. And I couldn't take that off. I don't know why it wouldn't allow me to take that option off. But luckily, after two or three days, somebody just bought it for the 20 Paid probably a dollar for this one at a yard sale a long time ago, though, and sold it for 20 I got this ring at a pawn store. I actually enjoy looking for jewelry at pawn stores, certain pawn stores, not all pawn stores, but there's a few that I like to go to. I love hand jewelry. I love Fede gimbal, gimbal rings. This one is sterling silver. Fede means two hands clasped together, and gimbal means gimbal ring is a ring of two or three parts that have interlocking bands. So we'll take a look at that. How cute. Love it. Let's take a look at it all apart. There it is. Well, it is connected in the center. I love the hidden heart. See, there's a hand, a hand, and then a heart. Neat piece. I can't really say that I paid $25 for this because I paid $100 for the lot and I am in the profit. So this is pure profit. Sold this Fede gimbal ring for $29. This item was a recent find. I actually found this in an antique mall and I think I paid $18 for it. Maybe $15. I, I believe it was under $20. I think the colors are amazing. I love the pastels. Now, this one, when I looked it up, I think I saw it mostly in white, not with all these beautiful light spring colors. How cool. I love the way some of the petals are bent over intentionally, of course. It's a great piece. Great profit. Sold this one for 45 Here's yet another interesting Trafari piece. I got this Fleur de Lis as part of a lot, and I couldn't really explain it very well. So I have to just show you. Hopefully you can see that price and move myself a little bit. Um, the enameling had like bubbles in it. Can you see that? And I tried to take pictures in the, in the daylight. It didn't really detract. It would look beautiful on if you wore it. And then it had another little thing right there. You see that, that on the very tip? So enameling, I always say, is sort of like powdered glass. It's applied and then it's heated and it melts down. That really does look like glass, doesn't it? And it did chip away just a little bit. 
this was not a lot of money because it was part of a lot, which I already made all of my money back on. I wasn't sure how to price this. So I did an auction and I did the first bid at $34.99. I got several bids, sold this one for $61. This is yet another one that was designed by Alfred Philippe. And I call this a jelly belly too. I love the colors. It's a very, very cool item. Here's a pair of 14 karat gold earrings. This is just a lucky yard sale find. Paid a dollar for these, maybe two. Nice condition. And I took a best offer on these. I think, uh, let me just check my notes. Um, sold them for $70, $70. So that's a very good price for somebody to be able to buy 14 karat gold hoops. And also, I'm very happy too because I only paid a dollar or two for them. So great profit. I love finding Silpata jewelry. People do collect it like crazy. These are very interesting earrings. They're just different. I love the color too. And there's the signature. See how it looks sort of like an arrow or a sideways V? I believe these were a dollar or two, I think, at a yard sale. Sold them for 30. I got this item at a thrift store. I think I paid 10, maybe even 15 for it. It's brand new. I know this is a collectible name brand. It's a money clip and it's a watch that actually worked great. I thought it was going to be worth more money, but it wasn't. I'm glad, though, that I just at least got my money back, sold this for 20. I'm pretty crazy about this lion belt buckle. It's so much fun. I think I found this at a thrift store. I think I paid $2 for it. I put it up for 25 and sold it right away. <laughs> Very fun item. Nice profit, too. This is high-end Coro, actually. That's what Vendome is. I am Americanizing that pronunciation like I do often. This was part of an auction haul. I actually thought at first maybe this was for a scarf because the back is square like that. It was adjustable, too. That moved in and out. There's the signature right there. This is probably from the 60s, maybe very early 70s. In the profit on this, sold this ring for 28. This is such a great mod bracelet. There's some malachite here. I think a garnet. I love the design. It's kind of geometric. It's kind of haphazard. Look at the star. That's a fantastic piece of art, really. Got this as part of a silver lot from an auction that I am in the money on. Sold this one for 75. Here's another lot of 1920s cufflinks. I sold all of these for 22. Here they are apart. And is that them? One, two, three. Yeah, okay. Four pair. For some reason, it looked like more to me. Sold that whole lot for 22. Some people may remember when I bought out a pretty large collection of J. King, QVC, and HSN jewelry from an estate sale. A woman bought it and she never wore any of it, according to her daughter. This is incredible. Sterling silver, gigantic pieces of turquoise. I don't know if that's called pumpkin or melon. I've heard both. That is something special. And this is in, made in Indonesia. There it is. That's a thing. Either HSN or QVC. Can't remember what. 161 grams. Wow. Definitely have made my money several times over from this estate sale. So this is profit. Person was very excited to find it. Sold this for 100 I think this cute little sterling silver marcasite cross pendant was a yard sale find, I think. I probably paid a dollar for it or something. Not that small, almost two inches. Sold that for 13. I don't like shipping breakables, but these were kind of small. 
I like to buy Sephora stuff. I wasn't sure if this had been discontinued or not. Cozy vibes. They smell delicious. Apple spice, cozy cabin, and gingerbread cookie. Brand new in the box. Sold these for 19 I think I paid $2 for these in the thrift store. This name brand is very collectible and very desirable. It's the first time I had ever found a glassy baby. I've heard about it. Everybody says they're worth crazy money. I don't know if you can see that, but that's where it says glassy baby. Now, there was kind of an odd flaw in the inside. It's probably pictured there. It was hard to get a picture of. I did describe it, though. Now, uh, this is just a little thing, less than four inches tall. Wasn't sure how to price it. Had it up for 40 and somebody reached out and offered me 25 And I took it just because it had that weird, two weird factory flaws on the inside. Still a good profit. Paid a dollar, sold it for 25 Florenza is a name that always sells very well for me. I love this cool Etruscan looking brooch. Look at the dangles. Beautiful, rich emerald green color, faux pearls. There's a signature, two places, Florenza. Very interesting. I took a best offer on this. Uh, let me check my notes. Hold on. The offer I took on this was for $36. This was part of an auction lot, I think. So already in the profit on it. Very, very pretty brooch. I know Fenton is a good name brand. I found this for a dollar in a thrift store. Couldn't resist it. I don't know if this is custard glass or not. It looks like it, but I don't know. I remember many years ago buying out a pretty large Fenton collection. It was vintage. And I had put that a couple of things were custard glass and they weren't. And they people returned them. And it was a thing. Good profit. This was signed by the artist. Um, yeah, I guess I couldn't read it. That's why I just put hand painted, signed and hand painted. And then I put satin or custard glass question mark. Quick little flip. Very cute item. Paid a dollar. Sold it for 20. This cross is fantastic. I found this in a thrift store. It was a dollar or two. And I thought that it looked awfully much like sterling and it was and it's reversible check it that's great that is great i think i included the necklace but the necklace wasn't uh sterling i love this this one was bought by a friend of the youtube channel thank you so much paid a dollar for this possibly two sold it for 40 this is a pretty little locket. This one is 14 karat gold and sterling. It's marked PPC. That stands for Princess, uh, yeah, Princess Pride. There's the mark, very clearly marked. It's very intricate, isn't it? And that's what it looks like opened up. I think I got this one in a thrift store for a dollar or two, sold it for 25. I remember wearing Tatiana perfume in the day. I found this bar of soap at a yard sale for 50 cents. New and sealed. Still smelled great, too. Was hoping it would be worth more money than this, but this was easy to photograph, easy to ship, easy to list. Sold it for 10. Look at this amazing metal flower power brooch. I love that it has different shades. See how the petals are layered and it's giant too. Look at that, a little bit more than three inches. Great lime green color. I think I paid a dollar for this one, sold it for 12. This was part of a kind of a junky jewelry lot that I definitely am in the money on. I love this set. This is faux fur. We have the earrings, the bangle, and the necklace. It is signed Karu, K-A-R-U. I've sold that before. This looks like it's from the 1960s. What a blast. 
very fun. The fur looked real too. In the money, definitely pure profit, sold these three pieces together for 22. I paid $3 for this necklace at a sale and I knew there was something special about it. I didn't find out for a while that it is Kenneth J. Lane. It is signed. It's sort of strange. It's signed on one of those little squares, not on the finding, which is interesting. See if I can find it for you there. See, it says KJL. That's great. What a fantastic necklace is that. I believe I paid $3 for this. So great profit. Sold this one for 35 that's it for this time around. I'd like to thank you so much for hanging out with me today, especially if you stuck it out to the end. It's kind of a long one. If you're a reseller, I hope this video helps you and you can find similar items that you too can flip for a profit. Please consider subscribing to the channel and I hope to catch you on the next one. All right. Be well until then, everybody. Bye-bye.